Hey guys, long time no see, a couple weeks. A lot of that's because my phone is so slow. Um, I thought I'd just do a little racing motor update. I got some parts for it, I ripped some stuff off and made some pretty cool stuff so far. So over here I got these, this gas tank. Got my slicks around the back of the Murray golf cart tires. I got this piece of axle, so I'm gonna cut a keyway into it. And then that will go onto the back of the mower. Now my bearings, I'm not going to pay $80 for pillow block bearings. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this right here. Because there's already, can I actually see it? There was bearing inserts in there. Where you can stick a little bearing in there. So that's what I'm going to do. And just bolt this right up onto where the chair is actually set. And then I will uh, put a little sprocket over here, right here. Then I got a motor for it. It's just right here. This is actually a really small motor, a lot smaller than I would like to have on it. But it really is nowhere near what I want. It's a 110, which is actually a 108. But I took it over to a guy and had them uh, heating up the spark a little bit. He put a bigger CDI and stuff on it. So it ended up being, making it like a 125 automatic, semi automatic. It's one of those ones where it just has the, um, uh, what's it called? I can't. The, it's like a centrifugal clutch, it's a wet clutch. Um, they use that same clutch on the, uh, you know, shift up and goes. You don't have any clutch. But this is just a complete semi-automatic. There is no shifter at all. This is the old four-wheeler. I actually got this four-wheeler when I was four years old. So it is a 2008. Um, something like that. A little Chinese bike. I think it was 500 something dollars. Brand new. Out of the box. It was junk when we got it. And I found out all I needed was a carburetor, so I bought a carburetor for it, and this thing, and it came to life. Um, and I also had to get an EGM battery, because the piece of junk lead acid ones that come with it are garbage, because they're three or four years old. Anyway, I ran into some big issues, and I would have to say, anybody that has one of these, beware of this. Do not do, do not attempt to do any kind of jumps, do not even attempt a lot to get rusty. I will go ahead and show what this spike is. Clean that off. It's really dirty. There. Actually, it probably says exactly what year it is. Tieto. Made in China. What does it say? 2010. Doesn't sound right. Maybe so. I don't know. I don't know. My mind's fuzzy back to that point. Anyway, the reason why I tore this bike apart, it actually did really good. I actually just got done doing a top speed run about two hour, two or three hours ago, and I hit 40 miles per hour, pulling all the limiters and stuff off. You guys are probably like, wow, a kid's 110 doing 40 miles per hour. It's pretty awesome. Except for one problem. I noticed a whole bunch of really bad driving and stuff. Okay, one thing suspension is hard as a rock. And look at this. Okay, let me go further back. Okay, you guys can't see that. I go down in here, and I aim this thing up. Look what happened. You guys kill, still cannot see that. Okay, that's just not gonna work. Can pop all this stuff off that I have on it. does not want to come off all right there we go and i did not do that it did that look how garbage that metal is i can twist it with my hand look at that it's only 10 years old look at that absolute garbage i could have killed somebody but that killed me because i felt the snap and everything else not the reason why I end up having issues. I end up having to push it home. Because also on these bikes, they don't make this little plug accessible. They have this big thing in the way. You have to pull like six bolts out, six screws out to get to it. So you know, I was like, all right, I had a little in it, whatever. Well, guess what? It didn't. So I took it out. I ran it wide open, and it locked up. Completely hardcore locked up. Luckily, the motor was still hot. I was able to get some PB blaster in it. It was able to get in the rings. I was able to break it free, and the motor, somehow, I have never had this happen in my life, but it does not smoke. So this motor is completely fine. Even though I completely 
deadlocked it up. I had to, I could sit there and stand on it. And I weigh 145 pounds, and it would not, it almost broke the bolt off the crank. It went from that to completely turn over. If you guys want me to, I will do a how-to video on it. I'll walk a push motor for you guys, and I will show you how to break a long or how to break any small engine loose with TV blaster and a wrench. Anyway, but this this entire system and probably this little gear, I'll probably use this gear and buy a little collar or something and weld it to it. All that is going on to the racing mower. Which is sitting over there. I ripped all the guts and stuff out of it. I ripped the old motor head on it. The old axle is what you're looking at. Yeah, I had that transaxle on it, which I actually blew it up. Never use a spicer. Spicers are garbage. Always use a Tecumseh. I know Tecumseh engines suck, but they, their transaxles are the best. That's a good little motor there, but it did not do the job for me. So, hopefully this one can prove me a little bit better. Even though that motor is like twice the size of this. But it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't have all the gearing and stuff in it. Anyway, I thought I'd just do a really quick video on that. Anyway, um, let me know if you guys want to see me do videos on the racing mower. Or if you guys just want me to do it and then show you the final results. Because it's not very easy for me to post videos. Because like I have really bad internet connections and stuff. Because I do not currently have Wi-Fi. And I'm trying to use data. And the data runs out real quick. And then I get yelled at. And then... crazy so i want to hopefully i can get this video if i do not get this video out dead on the time it was it is currently november 3rd not november december 3rd and it is starting to snow out there a little bit i had a big snowfall a couple a couple weeks ago so anyway i'll just show you guys um i'm gonna be using this front end on one of my off-road car builds or something i don't know the entire rear axle the headlight's pretty sweet. I might use that on on my dirt bike or something. Oh, you guys are so zoomed in. Wow. Okay. Hey, that's probably better. It's, I, I, it's probably bad that I don't look at the camera while I'm walking around. I just kind of look at what I'm looking at. Yeah, this entire key switch and all. I might use this. I don't know. I'm, the, it still has a steering wheel on the racing mower. I might use this. Thinking about that. I really want to do the gas pedal, but the track might yell at me for doing that. So, alright, guys, I'll see you next video. Um, let me know if you uh, guys are enjoying the kind of stuff or the way I'm posting stuff, or you guys really want to see me just go riding. I really want to know that because I enjoy doing both. It's really hard for me to also post on the uh, um, helmet cam and stuff, but I have all that. I actually got the original. Okay, I'm fixed on the Murray. Got that all hooked up. Currently, the Murray is not in action because the muffler broke. I'm trying to work on that. It's there. It is right there. <laughs> the header and stuff. It, I I hit a big big hole and it cracked. The water hit it and it just cracked. So I'm working on that. But it will be back up in service soon. Um. Hey guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.